Hello, I'm Princess Sally Acorn. We will learn about the preamble of the U.S. Constitution. The preamble to the United States Constitution, beginning with the words we the people, is a brief introductory statement of the Constitution's fundamental purposes and guiding principles. Courts have referred to it as reliable evidence of the Founding Fathers' intentions regarding the Constitution's meaning and what they hoped the Constitution would achieve. The preamble was placed in the Constitution during the last days of the Constitutional Convention by the Committee on Style, which wrote its final draft, with Governor Morris leading the effort. As the text says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. The initial wording of the preamble did not refer to the people of the United States, rather, it referred to people of the various states, which was the norm. In earlier documents, including the 1778 Treaty of Alliance with France, the Articles of Confederation, and the 1783 Treaty of Paris recognizing American independence, the word people was not used, and the phrase the United States was followed immediately by a listing of the states, from north to south. Here are the applications for the preambles. Judicial relevance and interpretation. In judicial relevance, the courts have shown interest in any clues they can find in the preamble regarding the Constitution's meaning. The courts have said that interpretive techniques that focus on the exact text of a document should be used in interpreting the meaning of the Constitution. And interpretation, on the other hand. We discuss aspects of national sovereignty, people of the United States, the popular nature of the Constitution, where the Constitution is legally effective, and to form a more perfect union. In aspects of national sovereignty, the preamble's reference to the United States of America has been interpreted over the years to explain the nature of the governmental entity that the Constitution created, that is, the federal government. In contemporary international law, the world consists of sovereign states, or sovereign nations, in modern equivalent. A state is said to be sovereign if any of its ruling inhabitants are the supreme authority over it the concept is distinct from mere land title or ownership. Next, the people of the United States. The phrase people of the United States has long been understood to mean nationals and citizens. This approach reasons that if the political community speaking for itself in the preamble, we the people, includes only U.S. nationals and citizens, by negative implication it specifically excludes aliens and foreign nationals. Next, the popular nature of the Constitution. The Constitution claims to be an act of we the people, however, because it represents a general social contract, there are limits on the ability of individual citizens to pursue legal claims allegedly arising out of the Constitution. For example, if a law was enacted which violated the Constitution, not just anybody could challenge the statute's constitutionality in court, instead, only an individual who was negatively affected by the unconstitutional statute could bring such a challenge. Next, where the Constitution is legally effective. The preamble has been used to confirm that the Constitution was made for, and is binding only in, the United States of America. For example, in Casement v. Squire, a serviceman in China during World War II was convicted of murder in the United States Court for China. After being sent to prison in the state of Washington, he filed a writ of habeas corpus with the local federal court, claiming he had been unconstitutionally put on trial without a jury. And finally, to form a more perfect union, has been construed as referring to the shift to the Constitution from the Articles of Confederation. The contemporaneous meaning of the word perfect was complete, finished, fully informed, confident, or certain. In 2018, the phrase came to mean the continual process of improvement of the country, by John Meacham, as it says. To know what has come before is to be armed against despair. If the men and women of the past, with all their flaws and limitations and ambitions and appetites, could press on through ignorance and superstition, racism and sexism, selfishness and greed, to create a freer, stronger nation, then perhaps we, too, can right wrongs and take another step toward that most enchanting and elusive destinations, a more perfect union. So you now know about Preamble of United States. Like, comment, and subscribe now on YouTube.